And the Charlie Chaplin season continues on Boxing Day morning at 7. Pig feeds, fat bag leaf, and salmon, cornbread, turnip greens. I'm all shook up. Mm-hmm. Elvis loved hamburgers, as everybody well knows. If he wanted them in the morning when he woke up, I would have to fix them. If he wanted them at 2 o'clock in the morning, I would have to still fix them for him. The life and diet of a legend. You, just said, you know, the input's got to be just as great as the output. Mr. Presley underwent his terminal event while he was on the commode. He deteriorated quite rapidly. You can't ingest all he ingested and not deteriorate. Right? Arena, the burger, and the king. A New Year's Day treat at 9 on BBC Two. In 1969, Oscar-nominated director Louis Mal went to India. This is what our film will be, a film of chance encounters. His unrelenting gaze revealed the country in its shocking contrasts. Almost always, the harsh reality comes out on top. The government of India was outraged, the BBC thrown out of the country. I finished by accepting everything by watching everything without raising an eyebrow. The late Louis Mal's India, New Year's Eve, 8.25, BBC Two. There you have India, a conception of the world which escapes us. Will a young woman's big break in the movie world be the answer to all her problems? The film at five past nine this morning is the first in a short season about Hollywood. On BBC Two Now, Charlie Chaplin's first feature-length talkie, a satire with an assortment of thinly disguised characters. The Great Dictator. The last film in the Charlie Chaplin season is Limelight, tomorrow morning at a quarter to seven, here on BBC Two. In a world where men are brave and women are chaste. I had rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me. I would my horse had the speed of your tongue. Sometimes the course of true love needs a helping hand. I will undertake one of Hercules' labours, which is to bring Signor Benedict and the Lady Beatrice into a mountain of affection, the one with the other. Suspicion lurks. The lady is disloyal. And betrayal waits. It must not be denied, but I am a plain dealing villain. In Kenneth Branagh's acclaimed production of Much Ado About Nothing, with an all-star cast led by Emma Thompson, Keanu Reeves and Denzel Washington. Tonight at 9 on BBC Two. When every picture tells a story, Decisive Moments revisits the images that helped shape our vision of 1995. The police mugshot was a gem. It was more than we could have hoped for. I took picture because I didn't know what else to do. I knew that it was a very strange occasion. It's shocking, it's powerful, and it'll probably win all the awards. Decisive Moments from 1995, tonight at 8 on BBC Two. At 10.30 this morning, the third part of The Voyage of Charles Darwin, the drama documentary based on his five-year journey of discovery to South America and the Galapagos. Now on BBC Two, in the first of a short season of films about Hollywood, an ambitious young woman goes in search of stardom.